Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be getting ready and I'm playing with all brand new makeup. Um, I received some really fun PR packages from NARS and from Tarte filled with like holiday gift sets or value bundle gift sets. And I just wanted to dive in and play and do makeup. At the end of the video, I'm gonna walk quickly through each item to show you what's available. I know for certain all the NARS are kind of exclusive holiday limited edition kind of set. As far as the Tarte, I'm not sure what is you know exclusive to the holidays, what's gonna stick around, but I wanted to show you because there's some really great deals. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I already have foundation on, concealer, bronzer. Today we're really gonna be focusing on eyes, cheeks, and lips. We are first gonna start with this palette from Tarte. I got this little set. It's the Warm Winter Wishes Eye Set, and it comes with a palette, a mini mascara, and an eyeliner, uh, and it retails for $30. It's a $102 value, it says, and then on the back it has like a little to and from kind of um, little place to write in as if this were gonna be a gift. I am gonna be honest, some of the things I am already thinking of who I might gift to, think Brooklyn. <laughs> she requested makeup on her wish list and she's not wearing makeup, of course, out of the house, but she does like to just kind of play with it when we're home. So I'm gonna give her a couple of these lippies that I got from Tarte. Okay, so let me uh, show you what comes in this little package. So you get this palette, nice kind of full size palette. Uh, when you open it, you have nine shades, all pretty warm, really beautiful shades, some shimmer, some mattes. You've got a cheek color there. Um, then you also get a mini size um, mascara. I do recall really liking this mascara. It's been a while since I used it. And then you get a mini little um, eyeliner pencil in black. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the makeup. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little closer so you can see what we are doing. Okay, so first we are gonna prime the eyes and I'm using this new eye primer that I picked up from Trish McAvoy. It's the uh, Eye Base Essentials in Bare. I've really been enjoying this primer. I picked it up a few weeks ago for a video I did with Nordstrom because I had heard so many great things about it. I think this was kind of like one of the products that Trish is really well known for, and I really like it. It's thicker than other eye primers that I typically use. I usually really like a really thin eye primer, but you can see that it has, you know, quite a bit of like brightening and color to it. So it really, you know, cancels out any discoloration, darkness veins that you have on the lid. Um, but also having it be a little brighter like that, I found that it really helps um, give my shadows a more vibrant payoff. So I'm just gonna blend this in. Okay, then we're gonna go into the palette and I do believe this palette has everything I need to create a look. It's really beautiful. Not pretty, very, very pretty. So we're gonna start and I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. It's the matte kind of lighter shade and we are going to apply that kind of underneath the brow. I'm using a kind of larger brush. Actually, I'm gonna mix the little shimmer shade with it because I want it to be a little brighter on me. There we go. So for the transition shade, I'm gonna dig into this uh, warm matte shade. It looks like it's kind of more of an orangey brown, but when you look up close, there's some pink to it too. And I'm going to kind of work this into the crease. So it's got a fair amount of color payoff. It's not like, doesn't go on real rich initially, but you can build it and get more color. This headband, by the way, I wanted to share. I didn't want to forget. This is, um, I think it's the Wild Primrose collection by Cezanne on walmart.com. If you guys don't follow her, she is one of my favorite influencers to follow. She's just so cheerful and positive and her family is adorable, like her little daughter, <laughs> Teeny is what she calls her. She's so cute. I'm gonna leave a link to her Instagram account down below. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to a video that had me cracking up actually. It's a video that her and her husband filmed kind of kind of promoting her um, hair accessory line with Walmart, but it's definitely like very entertaining and hilarious. But I always like to share influencers that you feel good when you watch their content. You know what I mean? Like you just watch it and you feel good. All positive vibes. That's definitely her. Okay, so I'm going to kind of work this, work this into the crease. I built it up, you can see. I kind of applied it more to here on the outer lid. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and we're gonna apply this onto the eyelid and we're gonna try and just use our finger. Let's see how that applies. Okay, so it goes on a little more sheer than I thought but it's beautiful. It's got a real soft sparkle. Let me try with my brush. I don't expect it's gonna go on any more intense with my brush, but we're just gonna try my brush. Okay, so I am gonna build it to get kind of a little bit more of a like kind of richer payoff. 
I'm gonna concentrate this on the inner corner of my eye. Let's try and wet our brush. Let's try and wet our brush and see how that works. Okay, so I just sprayed a little bit of the Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder from Charlotte Tilbury onto my brush. And we are gonna go right into that color. See how we get. Okay, that does help pick up a little bit more color. So this looks like it'd be more of a good kind of shadow topper, but you do have to build it up to get some good opaqueness to it. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and it's a similar texture, but it's more of a rosier uh, pink finish. So we're gonna go in with that and we're gonna layer that onto the center of the lid. Kind of blend the two outer corner and inner corner together. Yeah, so this is definitely more of kind of like a sheer eyeshadow topper. It's not really um, opaque in color or payoff. It's definitely get, gives that more of that sheer sparkly finish. Okay, next we're gonna go in and we are going to, where is my little blending brush? Where are you? Next we're gonna go in and we're gonna take um, a little bit more of that shade we did in the uh, initially in the outer corner and we're gonna pick more of it back up and just apply it in the outer corner and blend into the crease again. Next we're gonna take this darkest matte shade right here and we're gonna take a 203 basic shader brush and I'm just gonna kinda pack it onto the outer corner and then I'm gonna go back with my 201 and I'm gonna blend it out. This is just to give a little bit more depth to the outer corner. So overall, I find this palette pretty easy to work with. You do have to build the color up though to get um, like a real intense uh, pigment payoff, which is fine. I, you know, I kind of prefer shadows that you can do that with, that you have a little more control. I do want to kind of add a little bit more shimmer onto the lid here and then here with my finger. Okay, that's really pretty. So I did have to work a little to get everything to blend together, but it looks great. I really love the color story here. It's really, really warm, but it's pretty. Next, I'm gonna take this black eyeliner pencil and we are going to line the uh, upper waterline. Okay, this is good. It gives good, rich payoff. You don't really have to go back and forth a whole lot. It's got a nice pointy tip. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna run it onto my lash line. Ooh, that is rich. And I'm gonna kind of slightly pull it out Okay, before I move on to the other side, I don't wanna allow it too much time to totally set. So I'm going to take a small little um, liner brush and I'm gonna take that darkest shade that we put in the outer corner and we're just gonna kinda of smoke out that liner a little bit. Next, I'm gonna run that first color that we started with in the crease and I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna build up and get a deeper shade down here but I wanna start with something a little lighter. It just helps everything look blended. Rather than going in with a really dark matte shadow first, building up to it just makes everything look more blended at the end. Perfect. Then I'm gonna go in, I'm actually gonna go in with this more kind of pinky matte shade. It's a deeper shade, but it definitely has a lot more pink to it than the um, one below it. I'm gonna kind of run that over. It's amazing when I put on shadows that are pink or warm or red or orange, how they just make like green eyes pop. And then I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade and I'm gonna add it just to the outer corner. I'm gonna apply some lash primer. We're gonna skip the falsies today, so we're really gonna build up our natural lashes. This is the Dior Lash Primer and I'm gonna really coat and load that up. I've had a lot of success with my lashes lately. I'm very happy with how they've grown back since extensions. I've been using Revita Lash every night, pretty much. I would say maybe I forget maybe once or twice a week, but I'm really good about applying it every single night. I think that has definitely helped. And then we're gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. If I remember this mascara, I remember the wand being great for separating. There is what the wand looks like here. There you go. And we're going to apply this, really load it up. I remember this mascara giving a lot of length and volume, but keeping the lashes real fanned out and separated. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a lot of length here. Okay, so I did layer this mascara quite a bit. I spent a lot of time um, building it, but look at those lashes. And 
What I am really pleased with is the fact that I did add so much, yet they stayed separated and fanned out. They didn't clump together. I didn't have to like work to separate them. I mean, I felt like I could have continued to add all day long and they still wouldn't have clumped. So if you like a real separated um, feathery look lash, I think this is a great one to give a try. Okay, moving right along, we're gonna use the blush in the palette um, and we're gonna apply this on our cheeks using the BK Beauty 108 brush. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops, those went on a little more rich and opaque than I expected and very matte. Okay, I'm gonna take my time to blend that out. It does blend out nicely though, and I do like the color. I just need to have a lighter hand next time. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of bounce it on top just to soften those cheeks a little bit. That's pretty, I love that color. That color is really, really nice. Okay, for lips, we're gonna actually move over to this uh, set that I got from NARS. It's their advent calendar, and I believe it's all lips. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, it's like 12 little mysterious um, products in here, and I was looking at the card that came with it, and it looks like they are all full-size lip products and a variety of finishes for endless expression and unlimited style. Let's just be random, and let's open at number seven and see what we get. I always hate to bust into these. I don't know why. It's There's just something about having it, like, you know, unopened and perfect that's... I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it is a red shade. We're gonna apply it, why not? Um, this is the shade Cruella and it's the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. So, let's see. Okay, I wasn't expecting to do red today, but I think it's very holiday appropriate. Okay, that red is gorgeous. That is like a classic red. So beautiful. I really like the texture of this product. It's uh, very lightweight and creamy. I expected it to feel a little more matte or dry. It's definitely not a creamy or glossy type finish, but it's not matte either. It's just a soft, comfortable formula on the lips. It feels really, really nice. It's pretty pigmented. You did see that I kind of built up this. Um, just because it is such an intense color, I wanted the payoff to be really even. I didn't want it to be spotty, so I did build. But if you noticed, I didn't use any other lip product. I just use this. So no lip liner, which is kind of crazy because usually when I do red lips, I always start out with a nude lip pencil just to kind of be a guide for me when I'm shaping my lips. But I think it did a really great job of shaping the lip. This is beautiful. Okay, I do kind of, I am curious. Curiosity is going to get the best of me. Let's go ahead and open up all of these. Since I opened one, I might as well open them all to show you guys what you get in this set. Okay, so you get another uh, lip crayon and this is in the shade Intriguing and it is a uh, like soft peachy pink. This is totally a shade that I would wear every day. That's nice. I, I don't think they are all lip crayons. I think you get a variety of, yeah, this one is not a lip crayon. This feels like it might be a gloss. Let's see what we get in here. Okay, this is a um, Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Slow Ride. So this looks like it is a lip paint or liquid lipstick. It's kind of this warm terracotta color. Very, very pigmented, very opaque. Let's see what we get in number three. Okay, this is a different product. It is short and stubby. What do we have here? Is this a lipstick? Yes, this is a lipstick. This is the uh, matte lipstick in the shade Lovin Lips. Okay, and this is like a, ooh, this is pretty. It actually looked much darker in the stick than it did on when I swatch it. It's a really pretty kind of plummy pink shade like a mauvey, plummy pink, mid-tone, not too dark, but definitely deeper than like a lighter kind of nude lip. And then at number four, we have, I think this is one, another one of those um, like liquid lips, yes. Okay, so this is in the shade Vein, and it looks like it is a more of a reddish shade, yeah. This is an interesting texture. It's really, really wet, really pigmented, very opaque. I can't yet tell how it's gonna dry down. That first one is still drying. Then next, it looks like we have another lip crayon and we have it in the shade. This is so fun, I love this. It's like, what am I gonna get next? This is another lip crayon and this is in the shade Do Me Baby. Oh, okay. This also looks deeper than it swatches. It is a real um, kind of rosy, plummy pink, of about a, two shades darker than that first one though. So it's very similar to that first one I swatched, but a little deeper. Number six, we have um, a, another lipstick. This is the shade um, 
Toledo. Did I say that right? Okay, and this is a peachy pink, but a little deeper than that first one that we swatched. Pretty similar, but just a little deeper. Really pretty good variety of shades here. Very wearable shades. I feel like they're pretty complimentary on everyone so far. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay, another lipstick. Okay, and this is a good classic red. This actually looks a little bit more of a sheer red. When I first swatched it, it was a little more sheer and then I kind of built it up to get a more opaque finish. But just kind of a clap. This is like a good intro to red. If you want to wear red, but you don't want to wear something real bold, dark, or bright, that is a good kind of soft introductory red. Okay, we are on number nine. We are almost done, you guys. We just have to get to 12. And this is one of the um, lip pigments and it's the shade Pomegranate. No, I'm sorry, it's a, a shade American Woman. So this is more of a soft kind of peachy pink. It's interesting, I'm seeing a lot of the same shades here just in the different formulas. So it looks like they're kind of sticking to that variation of red, warm shades and pink shades, um, but they're kind of including them in all the different formulas that they have. This is the um, lipstick in the shade Inappropriate Red. So it's pretty. So this is definitely more of like your kind of bluish red. There you go. And then we have two more to share. We have um, another lip crayon. You should see my desk. It's literally just like stacks and stacks of tissue paper. This looks very similar to the first lip crayon that I swatched, just a little less pink. I mean, I'm sorry, a little less yeah, a little less pink and a little more peach, but you know, I feel like these are very, very similar. That first one and then this one are very similar. And then the last one that we have, what do we see? What do we have here? It is another one of the lip liquid lips in red. This is the shade um, Star Woman. Ooh, okay, now this is like as classic red as it gets, I think, as classic red as it gets. There you go. So these are all the different lip shades that you get in the NARS um, advent calendar. Really pretty. I feel like they're all wearable. Even the real bold reds are still, it's a, still a classic lip color I think that everyone should have in their collection. So that was fun. Okay, I do wanna share a couple of other um, little sets from NARS for the holidays and then we'll jump over to what I have from Tarte. So uh, NARS has this little mini brush set. You get four little brushes and it comes in a little silver pouch if I recall. Yeah, so it comes in this little kind of high shine glossy silver pouch and then you get um, four tiny little mini brushes, but they're great kind of little travel sets. This is available from NARS for the holidays. I also wanted to share this little lip balm set. You get a full size lip balm and then you get three smaller of these lip balms. So um, what I like about this formula is it's super, super sheer. I actually have another set that I gave to Brooklyn and she uses that as chapsticks. Um, it's very, it's the afterglow balm. So it's very hydrating to the lips. It has a little bit of color. It kind of feels like a makeup product because it's in a lipstick case, but it's very sheer. So I think it's appropriate, especially for like younger girls. Then they have these fun little ornament sets with mini products. I have one here with two lipsticks, the shade Band Red and Inappropriate Red. Then I have this little mini um, duo orgasm blush and highlighter. So those are some fun little holiday offerings from NARS. Okay, let me share you guys this box I got from Tarte. It's like, it's so exciting. I'm gonna go through these quickly. I do wanna kind of share everything they sent me because I think that there's some really good value products. If you're shopping for a makeup lover and you don't wanna spend a lot, but you want to get a full, kind Kind of like appropriate gift, I think there's some really good options here. So first is this uh, blush set. It retails for $35. Um, they are saying it's $171 value and you get nine blushes. So you get nine different shades of blushes in here and they look to be good sizes. Like they don't look like they're full sizes, but they're definitely larger than like a little mini size. So you have that. Then you also have this mascara set. You get um, three different mascaras, Big Ego, Lights, Camera, Lashes, and Surfer Curl. The only one I've tried is the Lights, Camera, Lashes, which is what I applied today. And you get all three for $35. So that's like a little over, what, $11 mascara. That's pretty good. That's actually really good, right? Um, okay, then next, I wanna share this little set. This is what I'm gonna gift to Brooklyn for Christmas. It's this Jelly Glaze. It's called an Anytime Lip Mask. And you get four of these shades. Um, I haven't tried these, um, but I was reading kind of the description 
description, and I think they'd be appropriate for her. They're described as being a moisturizing and soothing lip mask in four sheer flattering tints. Um, they have hyaluronic acid in them and a blend of botanical oils for soft, healthy looking lips that stay hydrated for 12 hours. So I like that the, they're described as being sheer. I think they'd be perfect for her. Um, both her and Kate are having really dry lips because they're you know playing outside a lot and it's really cold and they've been complaining about their lips hurting. So I think these will be good, fun, little like makeup, but also lip balm products. Um, so that is fun. And I don't have a price on this. I'm not sure what this retails for. I'll have everything, of course, listed in the description box for you guys. Um, then I got this um, little set. You get a full size product and then it looks like you get a couple of mini size products, but you get a full size shape tape moisturizer, which I'm excited to try. I have not tried that yet. Then you also get a shape tape stay setting spray and then you get a base tape hydrating primer. Um, both those last products are smaller sizes. This retails for $35. Um, so you get that. And I just like how they're packaged. I feel like they're just easy kind of grab and go gifts. Um, okay, and this, this is exciting. I'm super excited to try this. I think I'm gonna keep this for myself though, <laughs> as if I need any more palettes. Um, this is the uh, like eyeshadow palette kind of fan favorite set. You get um, 27 eyeshadows, 18 new shades, and nine fan favorites is what it says. How much does this retail for? Why is there not a price on here? I'll have it linked and listed down in the description box, but you basically get three different palettes. You get the Lil Bloom um, Neutral Essentials palette, little juicy, rosy, and romantic shades, and then you get the little toasted, warm, and toasty shades. So that's fun. It looks like they're kind of like maybe not the exact uh, shades as you get in the toasted palette or the in bloom palette, but kind of some variation of that. Uh, but I thought this was a great value depending on the price. I'll have to look that up. But three palettes. I, this is a definitely a great gift for a beauty lover. I would be excited to receive this. I was excited to receive this. Um, then you have this little set, which I actually took the one out because I applied it on my lips before the video, but you get two of these uh, quench, quench Lip Rescue Duos. They're basically like super sheer tinted lip balms. So um, this is the one that I have been using. It looks like it has color, but it really, I mean, it's it's pretty much sheer. This would also be another great product for a young girl if you have. I mean, you can see that it's pretty much sheer, but when you open it, it looks like you're applying lipstick. So um, I thought that would be a fun little gift for her. So, oh no, I got red lipstick on it. So I'm keeping this one for myself, but I might gift the other. Then I have this little set for $23. You get, it's a, the fresh faced and festive must have set. You get a full size mascara, a mini blush, and a mini uh, jelly lip glaze. And then I just have a couple of concealer and mascara duos. This retails for $27. Um, so you get a full size shape tape and then a mini mascara. This mascara I've tried and it's really good. It's the Man Eater Mascara, really, really good. Um, and then you get this little set of two shape tape uh, concealers, kind of more deluxe sample size, or I guess you can call them minis. I'm not sure which is more, deluxe sample size or minis, but you know, it's obviously not a full size and you get these both for $15. Um, so some really great, uh, oh, and then I have one other from Tarte. It's the uh, Hydro Concealer and Surfer Curl Mascara set. So it looks like you get a full size of the concealer and a little mini mascara. So lots of really great beauty gift ideas from both Tarte and NARS. So I feel like there's some really great options for uh, holiday gifts for your beauty lover friends or for your Yourself. I'm curious how many of you guys use this time of year to buy beauty gift sets for gifts and how many of you use it as a time to buy and test new products for yourself I always love this time of year when all the beauty brands come out with their sets because I think it's such a great time to test new products at a value price I hope you guys enjoyed this video I kind of like the way this look turned out I didn't really know where it was gonna go but I do really like it and this lip crayon I love it's kind of set to be a slight like a matte finish, but it's still very comfortable. It hasn't dried out on the lips at all. I kind of love this actual red lip. I might actually keep this on all day. I want to give you guys an update on those uh, NARS little kind of lip, lip paints. They've had time to dry down and they definitely haven't dried to like a real dry uh, liquid lip. Like when I touch it, I can still feel a little tackiness. I think it might've been because I applied a lot more on it than I would have spread out on my lips, but yeah, they feel like they'd be a comfortable liquid lip. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know any questions you have down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for spending your time with me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.